apprenticeship is anchored in partnership. That's what it's all about. L'apprentissage est vraiment une méthode de formation qui existe depuis des siècles, mais c'est aussi une méthode de formation du futur. We know we're going to have future challenges. We've overcome these challenges by working together and being committed to the apprenticeship system. We're moving in the right direction. We have to keep moving together. Bienvenue à Halifax. Le Forum canadien sur l'apprentissage est fier d'accueillir le sommet de l'apprentissage 2004 qui marque le début d'une nouvelle étape dans notre secteur. Welcome to the next step in the journey, the threshold of a new century of apprenticeship in Canada, a place to examine the challenges of the future and reflect on the successes of the past. Apprenticeship training is something we've been involved in for many, many years as part of responding to what our, our industry tells us they need in our communities. We've been very successful with that. I believe that success shows in how well Canada has done economically, the number of skilled trades people that we have, and they are well accepted around the world. Les succès du Conseil canadien euh, des directeurs d'apprentissage face aux euh, standards de formation et d'évaluation est surtout dû au partenariat que nous avons avec l'industrie du côté patronal et du côté euh, syndical ou du côté employé. The IPA is the Interprovincial Alliance of Board Chairs and we provide industry input. Uh, we are the voice of industry and therefore our strength is sharing our resources and best practices. Unions have been involved in the apprenticeship system for a very long time and it's something we're very proud of. This is the opportunity for our members to pass on their trade to younger workers. So we've seen it as very important uh, as something critical for our individual members and our future members and many of our unions have been actively involved in uh, the kinds of developing the kinds of training that's needed. Hiring apprentices and having the nucleus of uh, skilled trades around my business has always helped me. It's provided me the comfort of knowing that I'm going to provide a quality, good product on time to my customer. Canada's workplace is going through a period of tremendous change. Technological advancements, demographic shifts, and the emergence of a global economy. Each introduces new challenges and presents new opportunities. Probably the most significant issue for young women going into trades is that they're uncertain of the role that they can play in those occupations. They're unaware of what types of jobs are available, they're unaware of the amount of training, uh, the requirements, the physical strength that might be involved in working in a trades occupation. So they need information. What most employers don't know is that we have an Aboriginal baby boom with more than 50% of our Aboriginal youth under 25 years of age. They are a, an emerging solution to Canada's apprenticeship challenges. Apprenticeship programs are facing a number of challenges today. Uh, some of the significant challenges we're facing is keeping up with technology and the rapid change of technology and how we, uh, we have to work to try to be current. Another challenge we have is our equipment and uh, as things change to be sure that we have the new equipment that is being used in the real world. And the third challenge we have is keeping our instructors current. Some provinces have introduced, introduced a seamless process for the early entry of newcomers into the trades. They have instituted language programs and prior learning assessment programs so that the entry into apprenticeship becomes easier. We need to foster that and we need to quicken the pace at which these programs have been brought into play. The image of the, of the work, work, workforce, the trades occupations, is seen as being a dirty, work is dirty, the work is not very skilled and it's not very lucrative. That is no longer the case in the trade occupations. It's highly technical, it pays very well, it's, there's lots of opportunities. So now more than ever, it's important for all the groups, all the partners to work together to change that image and see that image is changing and bringing people. Consensus, collaboration, and cooperation. 
These concepts are at the very heart of the apprenticeship systems in Canada. And they're the formula for facing the future from a position of strength. Apprenticeship in the skilled trades is a great opportunity for women to get involved in different kinds of jobs. And when they become involved in apprenticeship and they, be, they become involved in their trade, they're excited about it and they're excited about the opportunities. Employers and unions need to work together to make sure that women are getting involved in apprenticeship and that the workplace is changing to make sure that it's friendly towards women. We all want the same thing. We want skills, education, training for our children. How do we connect people to the labor market? How do we get people to discover the world of work, the area of apprenticeship and trades? These challenges are the same, whether you're non-Aboriginal or Aboriginal. This is a collective challenge for us all. How do we connect everybody more effectively? Apprenticeship is a partnership. It's a process that is shared by an apprentice and a journey person, where experience is passed on, ideas are exchanged, and success is mutually beneficial. Employers, unions, educators, and governments share the commitment to training and skills development of apprentices and journey persons. The success of the apprenticeship systems in Canada depends on this cooperation among stakeholders and a continued commitment on the part of everyone who believes in the value of apprenticeship. La coopération entre les intervenants est la raison d'être de ce sommet. Bienvenue dans votre futur. Bienvenue au sommet de l'apprentissage 2004 dans la foulée de nos engagements. Welcome to the Apprenticeship Summit. Building on commitments.